in the produce section at Kroger and and um, this is where you're gonna get the majority of your fruits and vegetables I mean this is the majority of your food for the shred tin yeah so it, with meals you're gonna need vegetables and fruit and then also you know anytime that you're hungry you don't want to go hungry on the shred tin just eat so you can find um, a fruit or vegetable that you really like or a few of them and and have those handy so that you can snack on them on a tin in between meals okay I'm gonna try to turn this around so you can see the actual fruits and vegetables we'll try Okay, no, not we're not. Happen. Okay, <laughs> um, okay, but we'll try to show you. Okay, well, let's go to some of our favorites. This is the best lettuce. You can put like, um, you can make wraps and you can put like onions and um, tomatoes, um, cucumbers, and then avocado and roll it up. And those are really great snack. What do yeah. you think? For a veggie wrap? really good so you can use this and um, like anytime that you would normally think about using like a bread or something like that you could always just wrap it up in Ooh, a piece yeah. of lettuce um you know tacos like tacos burgers fajitas yeah anything like that you this lettuce can be used as um a replacement yeah as a bread replacement or a tortilla okay so then we got the you know celery is good too to use with a little bit of peanut butter and some apples maybe one of my favorite vegetables to cook and my family loves it is asparagus and we'll just put a little bit of olive oil salt and pepper and then throw it straight on the grill like on the rack itself so it's super clean and it's delicious it still has some crisp left to it and it's a really yummy uh, easy and it's super easy uh, vegetable to make I like also taking these green peppers you can make fajitas with a bunch of different color peppers. You can put them in stir fry. Um, and then I also like the green peppers. I just cut out the top and I put some um, grass fed beef in it. And then a little bit of um, organic so uh, spaghetti sauce from Aldi's and it doesn't have any sugar in it, it's just tomatoes. And I pour on it and leave it in the crock pot and it's super good. And you can add onions or whatever you like to spice it up, but that's a super good meal too. Something I like to do with the peppers is to make guacamole and then use the peppers to dip in the guacamole and, um, for an easy, quick snack. It's delicious. Yes. C cucumbers. Um, ooh, sweet peppers. Oh, yeah. These are good because when you're detoxing, you might eat potato chips before and you can just have a good crunch with the sweet peppers, mini sweet peppers, um, and dip them in hummus. And it's delicious. Um, yeah. I didn't see any right now, but zucchini. Ooh. I didn't see any zucchini, but my favorite meal, um, you could take zucchini and you can make the noodles out of them um, yeah. with a, what is it called? A spiralizer. A spiralizer, yeah. And it's super easy. You just crank it. Um, the zucchini makes noodles. You can saute them on the stove and then put spaghetti sauce on it. And my kids don't even know the difference. I'm not kidding. They do not even notice. And we love it. I prefer them over noodles. So, and then carrots. Um, they're a good thing to throw in a crock pot with some meat, potatoes, things like that to make a roast or and then so now we're into um, the, lettuces. the lettuce and this is like obviously you can make salads but then also it's good to hide in a shake um, you can throw in some yeah kale. spinach or kale kale this is so fun you can google okay or Pinterest kale chips I just put these on a baking sheet and I mean a lot of them and put some olive oil and some salt and pepper or Himalayan salt and pepper and I bake them 350 for 10 minutes and they are so good. Try good. the kale chips. Good snack. And also if you know about our tower gardens, hello, they are so awesome. I've been making lettuce and we have a crazy amount of lettuce right now and it tastes so much better than store bought lettuce but I can just go on my tower garden, pick off the lettuce and I don't even have to wash it and um, super, super good um, for inconvenient for any time. And anybody with a black thumb, because I have a black thumb, can grow tar and lettuce. <laughs> We're going to talk about some of the clean dressings that you can use. So this brand is a is a clean brand. Um, the Test Maze, I think is how you say it. So that this is found in the um, cold uh, salad dressing section near like the rest of the healthy foods. So that's something. So it's Test Maze. They have garlic, lemon. Um, what else do they have? A raspberry vinaigrette, I think. Balsamic vinaigrette. Balsamic. And then a creamy ranch that's dairy free. And it is delicious. It's really good. Delicious, delicious. And then there's one okay, other one. one. <laughs> Zoom over. I like, I personally like this brand. I like this one too. It's Bragg's vinaigrette. Mm -hmm. Or you can just have oil and vinegar, that too. Yep. But oil this kind of gives pepper. you an option if you're not like in a hurry. Oh, 
a few more things we need to talk about. I know this is the produce one, but we'll just talk about this real quick while we're here. I love quinoa. Do you guys know what this is? Right? Oh, here we go. Quinoa. <laughs> um, I take this and you kind of make it like a rice. Mm -hmm. And then I um, make it and I put it um, salmon on it or something. And then I can also um, make a bunch of that and then put a bunch of stir fry in another pan with amino acids. Do you see amino acids anywhere? Oh, here. But liquid liquid aminos, not amino acids. Um, <laughs> liquid aminos. And then the quinoa is actually also really good with like, if you think of like a Mexican dish with like beans, uh, black beans and um, corn and mm. stuff like that, you can mix with the quinoa. Or on a cold salad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So there's lots Panera of ideas. Panera has some, a really good salad that has quinoa. Yeah, the Greek one. Yeah. Mm, make me hungry. Okay, yeah, so there's lots of good things that you can do with the quinoa too. So be on that lookout for that because that can help. Oh, and I want to say too, so if you have a vegetable that you maybe saw as we went through or you have one in mind that you don't know how to prepare, you can comment on here with that vegetable. And if we have a recipe, we'll, we'll be happy to share that with you on how we prepare it. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Well, thank you all for joining in. And um, on to the go. next section. On to the next section. <laughs>